You're not supposed to be in here. What? Ah, so there you are. What? 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 What's going on? We're scolding you for running off. Your mother and I were very concerned. Thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked, Chucky dear. You boys didn't get in any trouble now, did you? What? This was all... A sh... This was all... The... The hell? What the hell's going on, game? No, no sir. sir. Good. I wish you wouldn't run off like that, young man. We were worried sick. You don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this. I am a mighty pirate, damn it. I'm Guybrush Streepwood, a mighty pirate. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Of course, dear. But please be careful. Well, come on then. Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. Yeah. The, the Big Whoop Amusement Park. The Big Whoop Amusement Park. And that's the game. Um, this is, to me, one of the biggest out-of-nowhere endings of anything that I've ever played, ever. Um, I, I have seen this before. You know, don't get me wrong, but still, it seems like you're just, you're, you're in the middle, you're immersed in it, you find out he's your brother, you rip off his mask, which he suddenly has, and now this, it turns out the whole thing is not really a dream, but it's all fake, that's, that's for sure. I, I don't even know what to say happened, you're, you're in an amusement park. Uh, with that all said, uh, this is kind of uh, the point where the special editions end. I don't think there are any plans as of now to do the other games in the special edition. I really wish they they would. Uh, from what I remember, the third game just picks up as if this scene never happened. <laughs> just, well, that sucked. Let's move on and pr and keep going as if this, this never happened. And I think that is the right way to look at it. <laughs> because, to be honest, I, I don't like... I wonder what's keeping Guybrush. And here's your clue. Chuck hasn't cast some horrible spell over him or anything. And there's the clue that... Ah! Maybe the amusement park is the fake thing. And that's actually... And what we have been going through this whole time actually is real and that's the way that they look at it uh, from this point forward I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil that yeah this is this is an actual world that you're supposed that you live in and you you are the pirate right you're not the little kid you're the pirate and maybe that's just an illusion but that's the game I know I had a lot of fun playing it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. I, I think these games are very inventive. They are amongst the best point-and-click games that I've ever played. When it comes to the humor, I don't think there's really any games that match up to the Monkey Island series. There are, there are games that come close, don't get me wrong, like uh, Psychonauts, Sam and Max, that kind of stuff, but I would say that Monkey Island... Uh, not only because it was first, but because it it is so off the wall, it, it requires thinking that you wouldn't necessarily normally do. Like, I need to throw a monkey wrench in the waterfall. Well, I found a monkey, that'll do, right? That's the kind of thinking that you need to do for this kind of game. And I, I, I really do enjoy thinking outside the box that way, and as a result, I love these games. I love the Monkey Island games. Uh, I, w I wish I had more experience with them is, is how I should say it, I guess. But this is a lot of fun. There's still some things that I don't know why you should do or why it's available for you. For instance, the 
balloon and the surgical gloves, why are they there? Why can you blow them up with the helium? You never use them, but they're there. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things like that that we never really got to use. The organ grinder and the monkey. I would have loved to pair those together. I probably should have done that, or at least tried it. There's a lot of things like that. There's a lot of possibilities. Unfortunately, for a game like this, I think that the replay value is relatively low. Once you figure out what you need to do, there is there is some something to going back and doing it over again. Don't get me wrong. Oh, and the root beer. What was the point of the root beer again? Whatever. Uh, there were... There might be a second ending. I don't think there is a second ending. What am I talking about? Uh, there, there are a lot of things that I would love to see from this series that I would hope now that Disney owns it. Maybe uh, you know this is this is just me throwing hopes out there. I would hope that they would continue the the Tales series. There are five Monkey Island games from what I remember. Uh, and then it was revived uh, by Telltale, I believe it was, uh, in, in the Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, that pretty much picks up from there. And I must say that I, I love the series. I, I want to keep going with it. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go uh, from here in terms of Let's Plays. I, I will do... 3 through 5, I think if I can get them working, I haven't gotten them working yet, but if I can get 3 through 5 um, up and running, we'll see about starting those. But once again, the special editions do stop here, and I'm not sure why they stop here. This is kind of an ambiguous ending, really, between the, the, the carnival, the fair, whatever you want to call it, and uh, Elaine going, no, seriously, wh where'd they go? Unfortunately, unfortunately, now that I see his name here, Largo Legrand never gets what's coming to him. He never did get it. But overall, you know, I love the humor. I think the art style in this is good. Really, it's Phil Lamar? I love Phil Lamar. Uh, I think the art style is good. I actually think it's a step back from the original special edition. Uh, I would have... I would say the same thing about the old school graphics too. Even though there's more detail in certain things, I would say that the style overall is kind of a step back. I, d I don't like the, the more adult bearded guy brush as, mu as much as I like the younger one. Not that I don't like the beard, it's just that I don't think it suits him very well. But that is Monkey Island too. I haven't actually given it a score. I'm going to say eight and a half. I, I like this game. I think there are some points, though, where you really need to think outside the box, and there's really no guide to help you other than just guess and check to try to figure out how to get through the game. And, I, and I'm never a fan of that. I always like being able to sort out things or, or find ways of, of figuring things out. In this game, more or less, it's guess and check. You know, how are you supposed to know that if you want to win the spitting contest, you need the green liquid, and, and you need to cheat. Uh, cheating, maybe you would figure out, but that you would need the... Eh, thanks, George Lucas. That you would need the, the to mix two of the drinks and sip that before you spit. That's something that, really, you would only figure out by, by guess and check. Once again, it's under open source. Huh, what are you going to do? And I, you saw all the achievements I got at the end there. Holy crap, was this game backloaded with achievements. I don't necessarily know what I did in order to get those. What? Fitness for a particular purpose. Sorry, the word fitness just jumped out of the page at me. But right now that Disney owns this, I hope they continue it. I hope they actually do continue the special editions. I would love to see them uh, for 3 through 5, like I had said. I'm pretty sure there's 5. There could just be 4, but I'm pretty sure there's 5. I, I love the games. I want to see where the story goes from here, and we will see where I go from here. That is a lot of credits. <laughs> Are they still going? I don't... 
you know the name of the organization? Did they forget to plug in their name in there in the contract? I mean, that, that tends to happen from time to time in contracts, but... Wow, that is... that is strange. What the hell is... Lib... J lib... Oh, Lib JPEG. Okay, I'm on to you. But like I have said, this is... This is a great game. If you haven't played the Monkey Island series, I suggest you play the whole thing. They're all good. They are all good. But that is actually going to do it for Let's Play Monkey Island 2 Special Edition LeChuck's Revenge. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined as always by Guybrush, the little kid, Threepwood. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Actually, ignore what I just said. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we need to look at the bonus features. As promised, we need to look at the art of Monkey Island. I hope that I got all of them. It looks like I did. Okay, so here we have the different concepts for the skulls on Guybrush's parents. And here we have all the different drawings of Elaine. Obviously it says right there, but you can kind of figure out there's not very many women in the game. Surely you will figure out which one it is. Here's the cliff on Booty Island, and our map it was stuck there for a little while. And here we have the Spit Master. That is his official name. I was like, the guy that's running the, the Spit Contest. You can see, at some points, they thought about giving him a little headset. That's really interesting. Uh, here we have the cabin where we found one of the map pieces. Remember we had to use the telescope and all that kind of stuff in order to get through there. And then here we have the guy, uh, Captain Rum. I don't think that was... The, I don't think they ever actually said that name. It could be wrong though. Uh, they, yeah, they knew they wanted to make him fat, they just didn't know how fat and how ugly to make his face and how long to make his nose. And then here we have uh, the sunken ship that we had to go to. Remember, there was a map piece. Well, not a map piece there, but we needed to get the uh, bow of the ship and bring that back so we could get a map piece. Very nice. Very nice paintings, I must say. Here's a close-up of it with the monkey head that we had pulled out and stuffed in our pants, coat, whatever that was that we did. Close-up of the Chuck himself. Is this a mask? Is he really Guybrush's brother? We don't really know, do we? We don't really know. More of LeChuck. I must say, I don't necessarily like this one. This one is probably my least favorite. I like this one right here. The way that the beard is constructed. This one where it's perfectly round with little locks. Eh, not for me. Not for me, but you can see they went for all different kinds of evil with LeChuck. And here we can see LeChuck's fortress with the crazy anatomy puzzles that took me way too damn long to figure out. More of those. Very nice. And here they're all arranged nicely. This is how a body kind of looks, except that they kind of push the head down. But other than that, that is fine. More of the Chuck's Fortress, I must say. I, that was quite uh, a good artistic rendering of evil the Chuck's Fortress. I liked it. I liked it. This guy looks familiar. But to be honest, I, I do like the way that this, that, that LeChuck was in this one. I, I do like it more. Uh, this, mm, no. I don't, I don't like the way that they went from here. This one, but really this one's, this one's awesome. This one's, oh, well, I, I don't know what all these are. It, it must have been cut off. Skull hat. I, I assume that's what they were going for here. And then Herman Tooth Rot. Ah, God, what the hell happened to him? They include the original version here so that you can see where they left off with him. And they want to make him look crazy. There's a couple here that make him look relatively sane, but he, he shouldn't be. I like this one where he's just flat out nuts and you can see it in his face. And we have one last picture here. And this is... I don't know where this is. I don't know what it is I'm looking at here. 
I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm trying to think of all the places that we were. I don't remember metal mixing in with a cave like this. Is this more of the Chuck's Fortress, maybe? It's possible. Huh. But that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Monkey Island 2 and the entire Let's Play, actually. Hope you guys have actually enjoyed these parts. This is really the end. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.